let's see okay but anyway as you can see well the the cartoonist the the artist drawing this drawing this car these cartoons is a, a wonderful I, I lost the book I've got a huge comic book by her Ellen for Forney Ellen Forney she's amazing she's amazing and this book is wonderful this book is banned in the USA it's banned because it says Bonner it says that he gets uh, Bonner when he sees books and when he reads books you know it's so crazy and this white chicken means so much to me I've got a video uh, on the EFL learner speaking English uh, YouTube channel the one I created for the school uh, reading um, this and telling my own story with chicken because I think some some of us, I'm, I think a lot of people have stories with chicken. <laughs> okay, and this is Marilyn Monroe. This is also, this book is more expensive, but it's such a, oh, and this book is a treasure. A treasure. A treasure. Reinventing, reinventing the enemy's language. This book is a treasure. Joy Harjo gave me permission to record uh, a poem I have of hers on the Talking People website. And two other, well, I have, I also contacted Diane Millian, the housing poem, because I also recorded that. And, and one of them uh, died recently. And then, well, this book is amazing and there are some poems here that may tell you a lot about how how much harm how, how ideological dictionaries can get when it's not linguists doing dictionaries you know or or more scientific people i mean when it's like very biased people writing dictionaries this uh, woman, Deborah Cameron, is amazing, and this uh, she's a feminist linguist. Well, of course, she's like a professor at Oxford University or something. Uh, she's very nice. I have written to her on several occasions to ask her about her books, and uh, she's always replied and been very helpful. And this book is a treasure, a treasure, explaining teachers, linguistic notions about grammar, okay? Because a lot of teachers don't know how to explain grammar, like from a point of view of linguistics. And it's, it's such a shame because... But they feel insecure, and and it's 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 better to do it from linguistics, and and what she explains here is very clear, and uh, I I really want to record or you know or create an activity with some of this for my publication, so I will look into that. And this is amazing. This is a style book. This is something I want you... Well, this is something an advanced student needs to know about, right? You need to know about this. And you need to get one uh, in your life. You need to have... I have El, El Libro de Estilo del País. And then I have this one. Associated Press. And instead of el dry, no. So the style books are very important. And this is what the press uses to establish what words are in use, right? And how to spell them and, and what their definition is. I mean, words that 
might be too recent or too controversial to be in the dictionary or, you know. So anyway, in English, uh, there are no prescriptivist dictionaries like in Spanish. See, they, they are all wonderful dictionaries. Anyway, as you can see, uh, lots of books. Check out the eCampus. Subscribe to the eCampus and then subscribe to the Reading Club and have a look if you like. Okay, and there you can post your questions or your ideas or whatever you like. This book is wonderful too. Oh, wow. This one is in Spanish. This book is a treasure, a treasure, and it's not very expensive. For some reason, this book is not very expensive. I mean, this book is a wonderful present to give anyone. And this book, I, I couldn't find this book for years. Anyway, ah, so, oh, here we have Deborah Cameron again. Well, I selected some books, you know, that I, and this is, Paula Modersohn Becker. She's a German painter. She was. But this is in English. And I have been using some of this uh, to, for our, to design activities for, for us. I love you, Paula Modersohn Becker. Okay. Blah. Oh, well, and this, hey, story of your life is the story that you can read. It's another of my suggestions. And, and the, the movie Arrival is based on this story, but you have to read the story. You should know that, well, there are interviews with a writer on YouTube, I think, and you should know that they didn't want um, the, the Hollywood people or whoever made that movie but in the United States they were refusing to have a woman as a protagonist because you know sci-fi films are always about men uh, saving the planet and things like that so but this is um, uh, an extraordinary uh, science fiction story in many ways and surely it's not about the macho hero uh, from the USA saving the planet. You will see that all the countries are involved, although, of course, he tells the story uh, from the country he lives in. He, he's uh, from the United States. Though his name is Ted Chiang. And, and, well, a very interesting writer and a very good writer. He hasn't written too much because he writes, he has a job, <laughs> which is wonderful, you know, to write in absolute freedom. Well, well, get excited. Yes, get excited. It's exciting to read and to discover all this absolutely wonderful people. Emma Donoghue is a beautiful person and a wonderful writer and and I have recorded for the Talking People podcast I, I told her to one of the stories here mm, you should check it out because I wrote a 10 page ac activity, I designed a 10 page activity so there you you know if you want to practice your English you've got lots of materials uh, to use, designed for you, for you, okay, bye. <laughs>